Today's unboxing will be a relatively simple one, probably one that I should have done long ago, but I just haven't really gotten around to it. This is the Intel Core i3-2100. It is a dual core, ooh, there you go, dual core hyper-threading processor. It's clocked at 3.1 gigahertz, which is pretty darn good considering the price point. And the reason that I'm unboxing it today, let me just grab my knife here. The reason I'm unboxing it today is that I needed one. Because for my upcoming Good Enough Gaming Guide, I will be using this processor to as the backbone of my Good Enough Gaming PC. Now, a lot of people asked me, why did you go with the i3-2100 when I did my initial video where I showed the entire specifications of the rig that I'd be using for Good Enough Gaming? And my answer is that Dual Core is still going to perform the best in most games that are on the market right now. At the price point, it delivers a killer value, and yeah, I don't think I really have to justify, my, justify myself beyond that. It's a, it's a pretty pretty uh, impressive little chip. So that's pretty much everything. Oh yeah, it's got 3 megs of cache, which you can see here. It has a 65 watt TDP, which means a lower uh, low power consumption compared to some of the more high-end chips uh, in Intel's own lineup. Here we go, hyper-threading technology, HD Graphics 2000, so that is the lower end of the Sandy Bridge onboard graphics. Integrated memory controller, no turbo boost. Please do note that, you guys. There is no turbo boost on this particular processor. Although, hyper-threading is present, as I mentioned before, so that means you'll have two physical cores, four active threads. Here is the integrated box Intel cooler, which sucks but it's going to be more than adequate for a dual core 65 watt chip like this. However, if you were, okay, see, this is something I would normally say. I, was, I would normally say if you're going to be doing any overclocking, then you're going to want a better thermal solution, but you will not be doing any overclocking. The i3-2100 is not overclocking ready. Even if you put it on a P67 chipset board, you will not be able to overclock this chip more than about a couple percent. So bear that in mind guys. This is a clock lock chip. You cannot increase the multiplier and on the P67 and well H67 and H61 platforms you cannot increase the multiplier on or you cannot really increase the base clock. So it comes with the sticker, three-year warranty guide. Well it's not really a guide but three-year warranty documentation. And then in the environmentally friendly cardboard packaging you will find a CPU! It looks just like this. It is for the LGA 1155 platform, which means it fits in a socket with 1,155 pins. Go ahead and take that out. Have a look at it so you can see the heat spreader has kind of a brushed metal finish to it, which is pretty typical for the last, I don't know, 100 billion years. That, that's, this is what a processor has pretty much looked like. If we go back as far as even the Northwood chips, they kind of look like this. All right, there's all your pins on the bottom. This is not backwards compatible with LGA 1156, as I've mentioned numerous times in my previous videos, so don't try and jam it in an 1156 socket. You will damage the processor, motherboard, or both. So thank you for checking out this unboxing, and stay tuned for my Good Enough Gaming PC, where I target $600 to build a decent gaming machine and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it against the system you can get for just over a thousand dollars to find out how close to that performance we can get on a budget. Thanks for checking out this video on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, random videos, and whatever else I feel like uploading.